Well guys, just one quick update. Right now you can see my nozzle printing with my special new polycarbonate at 275 degrees C. The polycarbonate itself is very, very good material. I love it. It is tough as hell. It prints very nicely. It doesn't smell at all. Well, at least this one I have right now. It has beautiful bloody color. And I generally love it because this single wall print is as tough as like three, four walls of ABS. But it still has one disadvantage because the polycarbonate is very hygroscopic material that means that it sucks moisture from uh, from the air and that produces milky appearance uh, prints because the moisture inside the plastic expands and creates small bubbles but as you can see this print doesn't have this problem. Sorry for the lightning. Sorry for the lighting, but it, it had a general appearance of PLA, so it's very brittle and it looks bad on camera if it's not lighted properly. And I had to solve this. And yesterday I created just in time dehydration device which is basically a heated PTFE tube and when I go back you can see it here it goes there and back to my spool over there and basically inside is heated up to 120 degrees C which is still fine for polycarbonate and it takes I guess 30-40 minutes to go through this uh, through this piece of heated tube so all the water evaporates and you can see right here that the water actually condensates on the tube inside where it's not heated I will probably cut some vents here, so there, then the water is not stuck there. So overall, I am very excited about this. And <clears throat> I'm really happy because yesterday I've got information about the final batch of those little suckers. I should receive 100. 0.5 millimeter and 100.35 millimeter nozzles so we can finally start chipping those I still need to get uh, some more thermistors but that should be piece of cake if I compare it to the nine months of development of this nozzle anyway take care guys